Hello and welcome to March. This is Taylor from Airtable, here to deliver the latest product updates and community news. First are some updates to help you identify and fix your broken automations and formulas. Adding a formula to your base is a powerful way to calculate the data you need, but the configuration process can be complex. We've added syntax highlighting and bracket matching to make it easier to read each piece of your formula, as well as redlining so you can quickly spot and fix an extra space or missing bracket. An Airtable now supports multi-line editing and indentation, so you can format your lengthier formulas in a comprehensive way. We've also added improvements to help you troubleshoot automation issues. Thanks to the automation status rail, you'll now see a visual beside any of your broken steps, showing you exactly where and how to fix issues as you're creating your automation. Next up is a new URL parameter we created to hide fields in a form. Say you have a pre-filled field that you don't want submitters to see. Customize the parameter with the precise name of the field you wish to hide then add it to the end of your form's URL. Thanks to our customers' feedback, we've made some changes to the expand and edit record experience. We brought back field icons so you can more easily identify field types, as well as some other updates we're excited for you to dig into. Finally, we have unified importing, which lets you import a CSV file to an existing table in your base. Simply right-click on the name of the table you'd like to use and hover over Import Data to upload your CSV file. And that's it for March. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content. Talk to you next month.